2022, Josh Pearson was just 16 years old and became the youngest driver in history to compete in the 24 Hours of Le Mans. He's amazing. Tony yeah. caught up with the Wilsonville native during his recent visit to Portland International Raceway and has this report. For Wilsonville's Josh Pearson, IndyCar's recent weekend at PIR was a bit of a homecoming. I'm enjoying seeing my friends and family here in Portland, and I'm just having a really good time this weekend. The last time I caught up with Josh, he was about to become the youngest driver in history to compete in the most famous endurance race in the world, the 24 Hours of Le Mans. He's since driven the race twice. Both times I think we had a car that could have won and, and definitely was capable of a podium. Unfortunately, we had some issues in, in both weekends and you know that prevented us from being on that podium. But you know, hopefully I'll come back next year and, and have another shot at it. For now, Josh is driving an Indy NXT car or Indy Next. The racing series puts Josh just one step away from his goal of driving in one of the most competitive racing series in the world, NTT IndyCar. Not bad. For a kid who's still in high school. I don't go to school like a regular kid. You know, I'm, I'm online schooled, so I'm not doing the, your, what your average high schooler is doing, and, and that's fine. You know, I really enjoy what I'm doing. I, I have lots of friends here at the track, and, and um, you know, I always enjoy hanging out with my co-drivers and with, with lots of my teammates here. So I've got plenty of friends, and, and I love, you know, being on the road. Josh's racing has kept him on the road most of his life, ever since he began racing and winning in go-karts at Pat's Acres in Canby. And he's already sharing what he knows with the next generation of drivers. I love seeing kids that are just as engaged in motorsports as I was when I was little and still am, so I like seeing the future generation and, and the future drivers. For now, the future still belongs to Josh with his eye on IndyCar and a smile on his face. Absolutely. I always have fun. You know, there's nothing not enjoyable about this. Tony Martinez, Fox 12 Oregon. So after we were chatting, I was uh, sort of hanging out there, and then this uh, older woman comes up to me and says, I, just, I love the stories you do about Josh. I go, well, thank you. And she goes, I miss Grandma. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, grandma's happy uh, that yeah. everyone's happy, right? But I was saying before, you know, like even the tech guy came up to me afterwards and said, this is a really special kid, you know, wow. beyond his talent and everything. He has the, the, the composure to be very successful yeah. in his endeavors. It takes a lot wow. to kind of pull it all together. And so. still in high school. It's still in high school. Yeah. And, and, wow. and back to the grandmother. I know there's so many safety features on these cars and all that yeah. stuff, but still to think about your yeah. son or grandson mm -hmm. or daughter well, or whatever yeah. out there going yeah. that fast. Yeah, and there was an incident, I think I mentioned before, on the first turn, unfortunately, he kind of knocked him out of the race. He's fine, but I mean, it, there is the, obviously danger, but they yeah. go to every possible length to keep wow. make it as safe as possible and as yeah. fun yeah. as possible. I love that you brought it up.